So you may have seen these videos in which people compare Godot physics with Jolt physics, and they prove that the Jolt is better. Well, they are right. Currently, if you use Jolt, it is faster. But what is the reason behind this? In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the main reasons for this. And also, we are going to look at the Godot source code and Jolt source code and compare them. Also, I will modify some part of the Godot source code, which is going to make matrix multiplication at least three times faster. One of the main reasons that Godot physics is slow is that Godot does not support SIMD operations, which means a single instruction, multiple data. Imagine we have two vector form, and we want to multiply each element together. This is the source code for Godot for vector multiplication. You can see this will multiply each element of the vector in a separate step. This means CPU first grab the x element of our vector and other vector, put them inside the register, multiply them, and then store the result inside the x element of the first vector. And it does this step by step for each element. What if I tell you current CPU can do the entire operation in one step instead of four steps? Modern CPU have some special unit for vector operation. To make use of this vector operation, we put all the four values of our vector in a special register of the CPU, which is specified for vector operation, and also the entire four float of another vector in another register, then we multiply them in one clock cycle. Please note we are doing that in only one CPU core and we are doing this in only one step. So don't worry if you don't understand this, but just want to show you how this is done. You can see here, I just load all of the content of the first vector into the register by this and other vector by this. After that, I multiply them in only one operation and at the end, I store the result inside the first vector. And basically, this code is much faster than the second one. You might ask why this is matter for the things like physics system in Godot. Physics in Godot utilize a lot of this mass. In Godot core, we have a mass library. And this mass library is used inside the physics engine and basically everywhere else. The good news is that as most of the Godot system use this mass library in core, if we optimize this mass library, the entire engine become faster. Not only physics server use this mass library, this mass library is used in other places like a uh, rendering server. But this is not easy to do and there are some challenges that we should solve. The first challenge is that not all modern CPU support the same SIMD instruction. Let me give you a brief history about the SIMD. First, in 1996, Intel introduced its first CPU with SIMD operation. It was called MMX. In those old CPUs, you can only put two floats together and do the same operation for them. Not, for example, for four floats as I did now. Later, in 1999, Intel introduced the next generation of CPU which can do four floating point operation at the same time, which they call them SSE. This means my code for multiplying two vectors together will work even with the computer from 1999. Later, Intel introduced other versions of SSE, which are SSE 2, 3, and 4. In these new CPUs, you can still do the same operation for four floating points, but other CPU instructions are added. Also, this time you can do the operation for two double at the same time. In 2011, Intel made its new generation of CPU which support AVX or Advanced Vector Extension. This time you can do the vectorize operation for 8 floats or 4 doubles. We have AVX2 in 2013 which has a new instruction set. And in 2016, Intel made a CPU with AVX512 which can do 16 floating operation and 8 doubles. I did not tell you the history about AMD CPU but they almost follow the same pattern and they also support SSE, AVX and so on. So the question is what happens if I write a program which use AVX 512 instruction and then I pass that program to you and your CPU does not support AVX 512? Well, in that case that program will crash. In my opinion, right now it is not safe to write code which use AVX 512 because right now as I'm talking to you, a lot of your CPUs does not support this instruction set. But if you use AVX itself, it is pretty safe. Uh, and most of the PC has the support for the AVX first version which came in 2011. 
and also if someone makes a game to be supported on very old PC, you can support that by a custom build of your program. You can see here I put the code related to the SIMD operation inside a macro. So if you want to build a game for a really old PC, you can build a special version of Godot from source without the SIMD support by changing this macro. Well, this challenge does not end here. What I told you was about a CPU with x86 architecture. This means that this code will not work on Android cell phone and new MacBook which they have the CPU with ARM architecture. Well, don't worry about that. ARM CPU also supports some kind of vectorization operation which is called NEON. For example, let me show you what Jolt Physics did in this case. This is a code for vector 4 multiplication in Jolt Physics. You can see they have a macro for every situation. If SSE supported, they use the SSE operation. If this build is for Android or any CPU with ARM architecture, they use the specific instruction for Android. And if none of them is supported, they use the ordinary step-by-step -step multiplication. Well, this was about the first challenge and I think it is doable and it is possible to overcome the first challenge. The next challenge worries me a little bit more. Using vectorized operation requires a specific memory alignment. What does this mean? Let's take a look at our vector for example. All of these floats are stored somewhere in memory. This memory has an address. For SSE operation, the memory address must be divisible by 16. I don't think we have a problem with vector 4 with that because Godot already made this 16 alignment for its data. So we are good to go. But for vector 3 we have a problem because as vector 3 has 3 float, even if the first element is starting at address divisible by 16, the next vector will not start in address divisible by 16. This is needed to grab the value of the vector as fast as possible and put that inside the CPU register. By the way, you can also manipulate this so it will grab even in non-aligned memory address, but it is not as fast and as efficient as this. As vector3 is the one which caused the problem, let me show you what is the Jolt physics solution for this. This is the data for vector3 in Jolt. You can see they have 4 float in vector3, not 3. Basically, they added an extra float at the end. And the last float is not getting used, it is only for the data alignment purpose. I try to do the same thing for Godot. I try to add an extra element at the end of the vector tree in Godot source code. But no matter what, Godot crashed and I could not make these things to work. Maybe other people who understand Godot core better, they need to make this adjustment. By the way, I managed to make the correct data alignment for the basis, which is basically a 3x3 three three matrix in Godot. You can see here the original data for the basis which is stored inside a row variable. I made a custom struct with the correct data padding and did an operator overloading for the bracket operator so everything will work like before. After that I changed the matrix multiplication operator for the basis to support SIMD operation. And basically this is how I did that. I made a small Godot project which does 60 million matrix multiplication. So first I did this with the current Godot system. It took more than 500 milliseconds to do this operation. Now I do the same thing with my modification. It is almost 3 times faster. By the way here due to the memory alignment restriction, I could use only SSE not AVX as it needed 32 bit memory alignment. So in my opinion by adding the SIMD support in Godot, the entire engine can become faster. Godot mass library is not the only place which needed to add support for SIMD operation. SIMD operation can be used in many other places like vector sorting, sound filter and many more. Also some part of the physics engine need to be used this operation. For example, this is the function which check collision between sphere and box. You can see here that this does some matrix operation which we if update the mass library it will be much faster and after this part we make some min and max operation. This also can be optimized by vectorized operation. Well guys, that was about this video. Tell me what you think about adding this feature to the Godot. Until the next video. Have a good time.